Well, my morning must read is about how today's hyper-connected world means that everyone needs to invest in themselves in order to succeed. This mm -hmm. comes to us from Tom Friedman of the New York Times, and he calls it a 401k world, defined contributions rather than defined benefits. He writes that this platform empowers individuals to access learning, retrain, engage in commerce, seek or advertise the job, invent, invest, and source all online. But this huge expansion comes with one big difference. More now rests on you. So he says if you're self-motivated, this is great. You know, the world is your oyster, but if you're not, this world will be a very much a challenge because your specific contributions will define your specific benefits even more. And of everything in that op ed, what stood out to me is he said, This is a bit scary. It is scary. It's, it is scary, particularly if you have children, because that's where the pressure will be for you to prepare them for this world. And more differences in outcomes, so more risk for individuals. And too. everything can be measured mm -hmm. to the to a second decimal Whole point. All new formulas. All right, well, my morning must read comes from Bloomberg View, Ed Glazer, who's the a noted Harvard economist. He covers urban development in cities. This is right in his wheelhouse. Responding to what we saw, that stopgap measure to fund the FAA so we wouldn't have to have travel delays, he says forget about it. Just make the FAA and TSA independent entities responsible for funding themselves by charging air passengers, and that would reduce the overall deficit and economic inequality simultaneously. In other words, your taxpayer dollars do not have to go to funding the FAA and TSA. It's a huge waste. He said it'll help our deficit and we shouldn't have to deal with these government shenanigans when it comes to airport delays.